So this year's Apple WWDC 2019 had some major revelations for Apple users and here are the five key announcements made at the event. Now the first announcement was iOS 13 and it has a new dark mode for the iPhone users. Now it also gets extra security patches which means that uh, in order to log into different third party apps you will have a separate ID and your email will also be uh, tokenized so with the extra security you will get. But the thing is, iOS 13 will not come to iPhone 5, 5S users and even iPhone 6 users. So yeah, sad news for you. The second big announcement was the Apple Watch OS 6. Now, with the Watch OS, now the feature comes in that you will be able to install apps directly into the watch without having to connect it with an iPhone. And some extra features for women, now they'll be able to track their menstrual cycle via the watch. So uh, a good thing. And uh, well, the Apple Watch Series 1 users will be getting this feature and also iOS 13 users and beyond will get this feature on Watch OS 6. Third big announcement and something that took the most amount of time at the event was the announcement of the new Mac OS, which is called Catalina. Now, the uh, bad news is that iTunes is not sorry, and it's been split into three different apps, which is now uh, Apple TV, Apple Music and Apple Podcasts. Uh, apart from that, it also gets a sidecar feature, which means now you will be able to use an iPad as a second screen with the Mac. So wirelessly, you can connect it. And it also gets in the features of the Apple Pencil. Uh, apart from that, you have a voice control that is coming in uh, the new Mac OS Catalina, which means you will be able to interact with apps uh, while talking, uh, just talking to the uh, OS, which is a good feature, especially for uh, the differently abled. Uh, apart from that, you get a new security feature in Mac OS where you will be able to find your Mac if you lose it, if you're that clumsy, uh, by uh, connecting it via Bluetooth. There is new Bluetooth technology which will help you find your Mac. Well, that's a good feature. Fourth big announcement was the iPad OS, a specifically different OS for the iPad. Now, what this OS gets to the table is that the iPad has a different interface, it's more compact, more customized, you get split screen, gesture features, all these uh, additions have been made to the iPad. So user interface becomes much more fluid, much more intuitive. And that's something that iPad users will be looking forward to. Oh, and by the way, now you will be able to attach pen drives to your uh, iPad. Thank God. The fifth big announcement at the event was uh, hardware. And they introduced a very powerful machine and something for the professionals and it's called the Mac Pro. Now, when I say powerful, it comes with 1.5 TB of RAM, up to 28 core Intel Xeon processor and a screen worth 6K resolution. This is extreme power. But as a hardware, you can afford it for me because uh, it costs a whopping 10 lakh almost. So yeah, only strictly for the professionals.